types of roles that you see accountants being able to move into that might be a little bit more appealing in terms of the type of work that they're doing? Yeah, and I would say, uh, again, a couple of the areas you mentioned, like the management accounting and the areas like that, but it's really moving the industry towards the advisory role, right? And if you if you hear any any type of sessions in the industry, any advisors, any influencers, they're all talking about the same thing in terms of stop doing the compliance and focusing on that. Start focusing on moving up the ladder in terms of advisory services because it's not just that it, it's generally a comfort thing where they don't move towards that and they give away that type of advice for free in a lot of cases in those conversations and one-off meetings that they're having with their clients. But the actual businesses that they're working with are in need of it and also they respect and and really will take that to the highest level, right, as well, because they see the CPA, the attorney, as really their advisors to their business. So the more involved you can get, one, the better it is. I mean, uh, to me as well, it's it's more fun, right? It's uh, you get, you're not just thinking about one aspect, you're now thinking about even the marketing, the sales, like types of budgets, how are they forecasted? What does it look like if the, the business is going to grow in this direction? What's the next step for the business? Are they going to go, I IPO, where they're going to get raise some capital, right? There's all these areas now where you can become so much more valuable to a business as well. And, and again, being valuable is, again, in my eyes, is one of those just personal areas where you're going to feel, feel appreciated for what you do, right? Yeah. More so than necessarily sorting out a set of books and passing it along, because that's what has to be done on a monthly basis. Oh, 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 oh,